In this video, I'm just going to quickly go over the settings you want for your Google Form experiment. I do have some screenshots on the assignment page. However, I think that some of the settings have changed or the way that they look have changed. So I just thought I'd throw out this video um, to make sure that we're all on the same page of what we want. So here, this would be, um, say you're working on your experiment, you have your informed consent, um, you have this information, you're also going to have that example of the response receipt. And then they go on to the next section and so on and so forth. So when, when you have most of it all together, it really doesn't matter when you do this, you're going to go over here to the settings tab and you don't want to make it a quiz. You want to look at the responses and you want to make sure this is clicked. Okay. So you want to collect email addresses and you want to send responders a copy of their response. So that's going to be their response receipt. So you want to kind of make sure that says always. So this should look like this, this should look like that. Then you're going to allow response editing. No, you do not want to allow response editing. You do not want those um, participants to be able to come back and change their answers. We do want to restrict users to Community Coast, Coast Community College District. So we want it to look like this. We want to limit it to one response. This is up to you. If you want to show progress bar, you don't want to shuffle your question order. Confirmation message. I strongly suggest having this confirmation message that after they submit it, it will say, um, you could say thank you for participating in our experiment. Please look for, let's say the response receipt in your OCC email account if requested by your professor because maybe not all professors are going to do, um, you know, offer extra credit. Maybe not all professors are going to uh, use the response receipts like I do. Some of them may request that we provide the names um, of their students in the um, spreadsheet. We've already limited to other responses. We do not want the students to be able to view their, their summary. So this needs to be checked off. You do not want it to look like this. You want it to look like this. We don't want auto save because you don't want um, forms that have not been completed. Let's look at our form defaults. We are collecting email addresses by default. That should be clicked. Question default. Um, this is up to you and depends. Like, so if you have, you may have a question that says, if yes, you know, proceed here. If no, proceed there. If you don't have anything like that and you really do want res responses for all of them, I would check this. So that means that they have to answer each question before they submit the quiz. So that means you're not getting incomplete answers. Um, so I strongly suggest this, but there could be some exceptions to this situation. So that is what your settings should look like. Again, I think Google has changed things a little bit. It looks a little different than um, what had previously been, been shown. So hopefully that helps. Don't forget to add in those examples of response receipts on both the informed consent page and the debriefing page.